terminal velocity of big drop formed by collapsing of the small drops which are also moving with the terminal velocity this is the topic so let r equal to radius of each small drop and n equal to number of collapsing small drops and let r equal to radius of big drop formed by collapsing of n small drops so now we have <coughs> the terminal velocity of a small drop now this vt is equal to 2 by 9 r square rho minus sigma into g upon eta where these terms have the usual meaning rho the density of the drop and sigma the density of the medium eta the coefficient of viscosity g the gravitational acceleration terminal velocity of big drop big drop vt is equal to 2 by 9 r square rho minus sigma into g upon eta so these are the terminal velocity now then we find the ratio of these two so this vt upon vt equal to if we find the ratio then you can see that this is now r square upon r square r square upon r square or we can say that this vt upon vt is equal to r upon r whole square so now if we find the ratio of the radius of the big drop and the radius of the small drop then we can find that what will be the terminal velocity of the big drop volume of big drop equal to n into volume of small drop because n drops have been collapsing so as to form the big drop it means that the volume of this big drop that will be equal to the volume of n small drops so this is now your 4 by 3 pi r q is equal to 
एन इंटू फोर वाई थ्री पाई आर क्यू सो नाउ दिस फोर वाई थ्री पाई फोर वाई थ्री पाई विल कैंसिल सो नाउ विल हैव दिस आर इक्वल टू एन रेज टू पावर वन बाई थ्री इंटू स्मॉल आर दिस इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन द रेडियस ऑफ द बिग ड्रॉप एंड द स्मॉल ड्रॉप एंड नाउ वी पुट दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन वन सो दिस आर अपॉन आर इक्वल टू एन रेज टू पावर वन बाई थ्री सो ना यूजिंग द इक्वेशन वन putting the value of r upon r in relation 1 now we have this v t upon v t is equal to now this is equal to n n raised to power 1 by 3 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 so this v t is equal to v t into n raised to the power 2 by 3 So, if we know the terminal velocity of the small drop, and so many drops, the end drops are being combined to form the big drop, then we can find the terminal velocity of the big drop. So now we can see from here. Now this is now raised to power two by three. So definitely, this n must be the multiple of three. So. <coughs> Let n equal to eight. Then v t is equal to. This is now your eight. You put it here. V t into eight raised to power two by three. So now cube root will be two and square will be four. So this v t is equal to four times. of vt so the big drop will have the terminal velocity four times the velocity of the small drop similarly for n equal to 27 vt is equal to vt into 27 raised to power 2 by 3 Then this is now three, three, three uh, square of three. This is now nine. So this v t is equal to nine into v t. So twenty-seven small drops, each of the terminal velocity v t, coalesce to form the big drop. Then the terminal velocity of the big drop will be nine times the velocity of the A small drop. So by this relation, we can find that what will be the velocity of the big drop when it is formed by coalescing of the n small drops. This question is uh, has been asked so many times in the competitive exams. So you can uh, have the direct formula and just you put the value of n and that of v t, the uh, small drop. Uh, terminal velocity of small drop. You can find the terminal velocity of big drop. Or the opposite of this one. If suppose the velocity of the big drop is given and this is being broken into the n small drops, then what will the velocity of small drop? That also you can find with this relation. So this is the required relation. So thank you very much.